companies were pressing the government to invest in small, fast ships. Among them was Vosper's, whose motor torpedo boat eventually became a legend. Amazingly, the prototype has survived. MTB 102 is alive and well and living in Ipswich. And it too has a story to tell. At Ipswich, on the Orwell, a group of volunteers keeps alive the memory of Britain's wartime fast boats. MTB 102 is part of a story that began in 1927 with Hubert Scott Payne. He was convinced the government would need high-speed fighting ships in wartime. Those that could slip through the enemy's defences, strike without warning, and rely on speed to get away. His British powerboat company, based at Hythe on Southampton Water, set out to design a new type of hull that could skim the surface of the sea. But Scott Payne had not only to test the hull, he had to find engines to power the craft at over 40 knots. In the mid-1930s, he found more interest in the United States, where this film was shot, than he did at home. But eventually, the British adopted his motor gunboat. Scott Payne also saw the potential of a small ship that could launch torpedoes. His first motor torpedo boat was made in 1936 and set a standard that was taken up by others. Vospers produced an MTB as a private venture, hoping to persuade the Admiralty to place an order. And this is it. That prototype, launched in 1937, is still at sea, now in the hands of Richard Basie and the MTB 102 Trust. Today, MTB 102 wears the red ensign. For a few days in May 1940, 102 wore the flag of Rear Admiral Wake Walker, improvised from a dishcloth. Wake Walker was in charge of the evacuation of Dunkirk, and when his destroyer was crippled, he commandeered 102 as his flagship. I do feel privileged to be able to be involved with the running operation and the future of this vessel. Uh, it's a very difficult thing to explain and to understand, but the, uh, there is absolutely no doubt that the Dunkirk evacuation shoe and that this nation of ours, when its back is against the wall, is probably superior to any other nation in the world and, and capable of, of deeds which really are beyond comprehension. 338,000 men of the British Expeditionary Force were plucked from the beaches at Dunkirk. It was a tragic retreat, but looking back, it was MTB 102's finest hour. At the time of Dunkirk, MTB 102 was stationed at Gosport, and the then skipper, Lieutenant Christopher Dreyer, was called in to be given his orders, which were to go to Dover and report to Admiral Ramsey. And Admiral Ramsey told him to get his crew together and, in the words that have been quoted, nip over to Dunkirk and see what he could do to help, and which he did. And we know she made at least eight trips into Dunkirk Harbour and was very important to the success of the evacuation. One o two is a reminder that sixty years ago naval warfare was rather unsophisticated. Scott Payne, Vospers, and others were trying to work out the best way of launching torpedoes from a vessel that was motoring at forty knots. The earliest MTBs threw theirs off the stern and then got out of the way as quickly as possible. Later, trials proved that the best method was to launch torpedoes from tubes on deck. This boat was the first torpedo boat that carried two 21-inch torpedoes. Previous to that, the maximum carried were 18-inch torpedoes, but the 21-inch had a greater range and a greater hitting power. The boats operated in groups of three. Initially, three torpedo boats would operate together. All operations were at night, and uh, after a, a bit 